Welcome back to the network of White King. In today's video, we're going to take a look at how to download a VMware Workstation Pro or Fusion for that matter and use it for free. So for that, what you need to do is go to support.broadcom.com and hit enter. All right, so once you're here, so the very first thing you need to do is go ahead and register. And once the registration is complete, go ahead and log in. Well, with a registration, let me inform you that it's going to ask you for your email address and it's going to ask you to create a new password. With your email address, it's going to ask you to verify your email address using a verification code. And once the verification is done, it's going to ask you for some basic details and the password is created as well. After that, go ahead and click on login and after that you'll be able to download so i have already registered so i'm going to go ahead and click on login now so let me just do that right clicking on login now let's wait for it to go ahead and load the login page where i'll have to provide my username that's going to be my email address right so once it loads all right at and hit enter and then provide it your password for this account and hit enter and that is going to sign you in all right so uh, let it load yeah okay there you go I have successfully logged in. Now let's go ahead and download the file. Before proceeding, if you want to support my work, uh, you can consider joining the channel in one of these ranks. Go ahead and subscribe, like, share, and comment. Let's proceed. So on the left-hand side, we see the software option, right? So go ahead and click on this option. So let me just go ahead and do that. And then click on a VMware Cloud Foundation and then go ahead and click on my downloads, the third option it, or a third column, first option, whatever, right? My downloads. All right, so once you're here, go ahead and search for maybe, for example, VMware Workstation Pro or search for Fusion. So as an example, I can search for Fusion right here and it's gonna show me the options. VMware Fusion, the first one right here, uh, let me just highlight it for you real quick. VMware Fusion and VMware vSphere Bitfusion. Okay, so I can go ahead and similarly search for Workstation. And it's going to show me the options, right? There you go. VMware Workstation Player and VMware Workstation Pro. I want to go ahead and click on Pro. All right, so once you go ahead and click on Pro, um, it is going to ask you for a few more details after this, but here you need to select the version that you're looking for. VMware Workstation Pro 17 for Windows, 17 for Linux, 16 for Windows, and so on. So I'm going to go ahead and click on VMware Workstation Pro 17.0 for Windows. Go ahead and click on that. Now here we're going to go for 17.6.2 and the reason is that 17.6.2 is a free as it says in the release notes as well for 17.6.2 that VMware Workstation Pro no longer requires a license key and is now free for commercial, educational and personal use. I'm going to share a link in the description for the release notes as well for you to check 17.6.2. And here you'll get an option to download it. What you need to do is you need to go ahead and click on uh, this option right here. And then it's going to ask you for a few more details about your address and so on. And once you fill up all those details, you'll again land on this page. And then you'll be able to go ahead and click on it and download. Right. So uh, if I go ahead and click on it, um okay it started to download now the reason that it directly started to download for me is because i've already done it once before right so uh let's wait for it to complete and then we can go ahead and install it and take a look at the rest of the options all right all right so the file is about 448 megabytes and i've copied it to the desktop let me just go ahead and double click on it I double click on it and say yes. Once it asks me for the permission, we just go ahead and come on. All right, say yes. And 
let's go ahead and continue doing this right now. Preparing VMware workstation for installation. We got another one, um, workstation pro TM17 that is not visible on the recording screen. But anyways, I mean, I'm not, we're not supposed to do anything there. We just need to wait for it uh, to prepare for the installation. So let's wait for it. Just pause the video for a moment now because I'm not sure how long it is going to take. All right, there you go. Welcome to the VMware workstation pro setup wizard. I've read it. No, I have. I haven't actually. So I accept the terms of uh, in the license agreement. Whatever. Say next and install Windows. Ah, oh, no. Okay. Um. Yes. I'm gonna need that. Check for product updates. I really don't need that. Join the VMware customer experience. No, not at all. Desktop. This. Next. No problem. Install. All right. So let's wait for it to complete. And now again, I'm not really sure how long it is gonna take. Um. From the looks of it, it is gonna take some time. So uh, I may as well pause the video for now. But I mean, you can just you know, uh, I won't pause the video. Um, in case some error happens or something like that pops up all of a sudden, uh, we'll just try to troubleshoot it on the fly. Basically, just go ahead and move uh, the video forward a little bit. And yeah, just, let's just wait for it. Okay, looking good. All right, come on. In the meantime, if you're new, please go ahead and subscribe. That helps a lot. And uh, I'm still looking for the first person to join the channel. Um, so whoever's um, you know maybe interested or whatever, just go ahead and join the channel. It's less than a dollar. So yeah, that's pretty much it in the meantime. Please wait while the setup wizard installs VMware Workstation Pro. Validating install. All right. Okay. All right. I hope it doesn't take that long. Then I'll have to cut the video short. I'll have to cut this part if it takes a lot of time. Um, yeah, because I mean, there's there's no reason keeping this stuff in the video after all. Now, let's keep it here for a moment. All right. Now that looks better. That looks better. Yes. And uh, in the meantime, let me also tell you that uh, at the end of the video. Uh, I'm not going to share screenshots or whatever. Uh, I'm going to put some links in the description. Uh, there's going to be the release notes. There's going to be, you know, stuff like the guides for VMware Workstation, uh, 17.62 Pro. You got the release notes and all that. I'm going to put all that information in the comments uh, section, in a pinned comment, or in the description of the video. So looks like it is doing uh, some stuff, copying new files. Well, that's good. We're seeing progress. And hmm, playing with legacy virtual network drivers. That is good. Installing virtual network drivers. Yes, as I was saying, I'll put uh, some, you know, release notes, the tech docs, and so on, and you can always refer to those. A um, lot of information in there. Um, okay, what do we have here completed? Great. Let me just click on finish, and it's going to launch now. If it doesn't. I'm going to launch it. I go to the start menu and I search for a VMware Workstation 17 player, and this window pops up. We're going to explore all of these options in the upcoming videos. For those of you who want to support my work, please consider joining the channel. Be the first one to join the channel, yeah? <laughs> and uh, consider subscribing, liking, sharing, and commenting as well. Thank you so much. You guys have a great time ahead. Goodbye.